Hello, everyone. Welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. You know, when Microsoft designs solutions and, and features for Dynamics, it's hard for them to kind of figure out whether those features that they just designed should be enabled for everyone or disabled for everyone, allow people the option to enable them if they want to. Like I imagine there's a lot of back and forward, you know, when it comes to, okay, we just created this super cool solution. Like let's just pick something like editable grids, for example, which people ask for years for it. What should we do next? Should we make grids editable? you know, out of the box, should we allow people to turn it on? Like, what, what do we do? And then there's a decision made and then they move forward. One of those features that came out a few years ago was the ability to see maps inside of, you know, forms. When you open, let's say an account form, if you had an address, it would show you a map of where the location, uh, where the company was located. So let's just open one of these, I don't know, just some random company here, uh, AdventureWorks Electronics. You can see that I have an address in place right here, but now a map is disabled. This used to be enabled for everyone. You would get a map in there, which, you know, for a lot of companies, they complain, like, why do I have a map now? Like, I don't care where these people are located. We're never gonna go visit them. Or everything we do is online. Cool, you can disable that particular, you know, feature. I think that, or, or turn off, you know, take the map off the, of the form. I think that a lot of, you know, in, in the grand majority of people, uh, they didn't need the map. So, you know, starting a couple versions ago, perhaps the last version of dynamics, um, Microsoft decided to turn it off for everyone. And that's why you see that now it says map is disabled for this organization. Now you can click on get directions here, which will then open the map. Uh, so you can see this one happens to be in Tampa near the beach or near the coast that's nice near the water uh but anyway this this happens to be in tampa and then from here i can go and do directions from where i live or whatever it is so this is you know allowing us to open but some companies like the map they want to see what's around them you can do some intel like what hotels are nearby so i can stay if i'm going to visit that customer whatever it is so i'm going to show you today how to turn it back on if you're one of those companies that had it disabled and now you want it back so let's start the countdown and let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate into advanced settings. Okay. And now that that's open, we're going to navigate into administration, system settings, and within system settings, notice that there is an enable Bing maps option here. So we're going to click on yes and click. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go back and navigate into our account and we're going to refresh. And notice that now we have a map. So let's scroll down here and there it is. The beloved map that we used to have before that some people are missing is now back in place just by enabling that through the settings. I hope you enjoyed today's tip and we'll see you next week.